You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, moving on. Speaking of uh, people uh, moving jobs, we have a report that ESPN could actually be losing two of their most prominent names over there. And this really doesn't surprise me because how many people at ESPN have left over the years? A lot of them. A bunch. A bunch of them. But uh, here is the new report here. And Adam Schefter and Adrian Wojnarowski set to be pursued by The Athletic. Now, this is just fresh for me. Rhodes probably knows a little bit more about this than I do. I actually have not read this yet. I, I yeah, I I don't know a ton about it either. Uh, okay. I can tell you, I can tell you right now. Uh, I am shocked that the athletic is uh, considering doing this. I know they feel like bringing name talent over there is going to help them, but the athletic is taking a bath right now from a financial standpoint. Hmm. I mean, there's there's rumors out there that they're trying to find people to buy or fund that place. You know, much of their content is behind a paywall. Okay, yeah. the, and the good stuff you pay for, and and they're woke too. They have Jamel Hill over there writing for them. They're incredibly woke. I mean, don't get me wrong; they got some talented folks over there. I mean, occasionally somebody will write an article out of there that is a a fantastic article. But I wouldn't pay a dime to read it. No way. No. <laughs> their their subscription model has been a total failure. Here you go, so, man. It says yeah, it right go here. Ahead. The, the go reported ahead. interest in Schefter and Wojnarowski comes one week after the New York Times company announced that it planned to buy the athletic for $550 million in cash. Okay. Well, that so explains why this they, might be happening. They got the money. They, they got, got the, the money. money. Yeah. They got the funding, so the New York Times is going to back the athletic. Um, damn, how did I miss that? I might have made a video on that. Yeah, Adam um, Schefter's been there for twelve years. Do you think he would le uh, leave? Would either one of these guys actually leave ESPN for the athletic? Now we know for the ESPN, athletic. The ESPN has a lot of problems, and you can see here that both of these guys make two to $3 million a piece. So going to the athletic, well, they would be paid by the times. The time had times has money. How much money would they, they leave for now? Usually ESPN, they can't pay as much money because they're bleeding so much money for Walt Disney, right? But the right price. I believe that they would leave. Mm. I, I really do believe they would actually leave. Well, I mean, we, we, we know one thing, their public profile is going to take a hit if they go to the athletic. Yeah, true. There's no question. True. No question. I mean, Schefter, Schefter and, and Wojnowski are, they're center figures on, on both of those, uh, pregame shows Man. for the NBA and NFL. I thought that Schefter would be making more than $2 million. Yeah, I would. I would think, man, so that's too. that's yeah. pretty low for somebody as prominent as him that goes out there and breaks all of the biggest um, uh, sports transactions. Two, three I, million. I would actually think if either one of them were was going to leave, Wojnowski would only leave for Turner Sports. Okay, where he could still have a high profile on. Actually, the biggest NBA pregame show, which is the Charles Barkley. Shaq show and then um if Schefter was going to leave you know Fox would be the only place I would think he would go where he could be on that fo uh, Fox yeah. Sports NFL coverage you know yeah yeah uh but they've got Jay Glazer so I don't know why the hell they would True. need Schefter you know yeah and so, you see here both of their contracts up this summer so but you know ESPN is not gonna they can't they're not gonna ESPN is not really going to have the money to give them massive raises. Look at this. Look at this. Sports betting platforms could also be in the mix for Wojnowski and Schefter with front office sports mentioning Caesars, 
FanDuel and DraftKings desire to become sports media platforms. Ooh. And we know Caesars got money. I mean, they got a commercial right now with multiple commercials with Halle Berry and every Manning you've ever heard of all in yeah, one commercial true. together. Those those betting betting platforms are making more money than all of them, okay? True. So so if they end up starting actual sports media platforms, man, look out. They're going to pull talent from all over the place because they can afford to pay for it. Wow. Yeah. That is going to be interesting. So we'll be on the lookout for that, guys. But I wouldn't be surprised because a bunch of people have left um, ESPN over the years. Sports betting is about to change everything. Yes. As it becomes more legal, I believe I believe somewhere between 20 and 25 states are now legal with sports betting. Um, I've heard Texas within five years. I've heard Louisiana. I think it actually is already doing it. So yeah. um, it's going to be a big deal. Uh, New, New York was a big get. They just legalized it. Hmm. Yep. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.